music is pumping, the people are eating, they're drinking their beers. It's just a vibe out here. Good morning everyone, once again from the beautiful city of Siam Reap. This is day two for me and uh, today I'm going to be exploring some more and show you some of the best stuff. Let's go! Alright guys, so the first thing I want to do is just to get some coffee. I haven't had breakfast yet. Just after 10, the weather app shows that it's 31 degrees. It's extremely hot, it's humid, it's overcast as it was in Bangkok as well, but the humidity is the killer. So right guys, I'm right here at the coffee shop and it's called Mama Coffee. And it's a kiosk right around the corner from where I'm staying. There's also some uh, bread for donuts. Can I have a milk coffee please? Okay. The uh, cold. Okay. So you like normal sweet or less sweet? Uh, sweet. Semi, semi sweet. Yeah. Oh. That looks nice. Alright oh, guys, let's kill that. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That is 63 cents. So obviously guys, when you pay with Tyler, you're going to get your... Thank you so much. So when you pay with Tyler, you're going to get your change in... Uh, what is the currency called? It's the... Real. 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 Cambodian real. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Well, this is so good guys. I think I found my favorite coffee spot. Alright, I'm approaching the Art Market Bridge. So there are two of these bridges, one on that side, and this one. These bridges cross the Siem Reap River, and that's the old market bridge, which is for cars and bikes, as you can see. Right, so let me just cross to the other side. So I'm walking along the Siem Reap River and I'm making my way to the Royal Independence Gardens. Guys, it is amazing out here man. The vibe, the energy of the city, it is unbelievable. The river is not the most amazing river, it's not clean. But at night with these lights and with the trees and the ambience, guys, it's just something else. What we are from Rafs. It's a Buddhist temple. I actually didn't do any research on this. I just saw this now as I was walking alongside the river. You see guys, what happens when you walk? You just find little gems everywhere.
done research on this place. I actually didn't do any research on any of the stuff that I'm doing today but as I was walking along the river I saw this beautiful building. I saw the entrance all in gold and everything and I just decided to pop in and see what it, what it has to offer and it's one of the most beautiful temples I've seen. Right I'm gonna make my way in and you have to remove your shoes obviously. So that's the name, the White Priya Prom Wrath. Alright guys, I'm not going to read it. You can see that yourself. You can pause the video and read it for yourself. kind of quiet during the day and so the reason this place is uh, more quiet is because most people are out doing the attractions and uh, the biggest attraction in Siem Reap is the Angkor Wat temple which is the biggest temple in the world that's the one that I want to visit tomorrow see all these markets along the river Wow, at night guys, these things are so stunning. They light up and it's full of people. It's just an unbelievable atmosphere and vibe. Look at this beautiful road covered by trees. Here we go on the other side, the gondolas or the canoes, but you can do boat rides on this river. So many things to do and see out here, man. These are even fancier boats. Wow. These ones are $25 and the smaller ones like these ones are $2. Obviously those ones are fancier and you can take maybe four people. That yeah, looks like maximum four people. And obviously then you share the fee. I'll do that later. Wow, look at this art, man. Alright guys, that's not part of the art. Okay, so I'm at the right place. This is the Royal Independence Gardens. So I believe that this park is also sometimes known as Bat Park because uh, apparently there are some bats out here in the trees. If I do find some bats I'll try and capture them. So also there's the garden itself, a pagoda, shrines, bats, 
the river obviously that we've seen on the outside and then there's also exercise classes sometimes and I believe also that this park or this uh, garden is sometimes the center of attraction for many festivals and also like the Khmer New Year, the water festival. Just on the other side is the royal residence. It's not open to public but you can see it from the gardens. You see them? Right, we have arrived at what bow? Found the place and I also found water for 1,500 real. amazing just cruising on the river very slowly though and it was very hot but you know what it's just the experience man that was it amazing I'm making my way to the old market and then from there I'm gonna have a quick bite got a cool top no tuk tuk today and tomorrow <laughs> cool Cambodia right oh, there's also some current line we'll check it out so we're not quite at the old market yet this is just another market which is on the other side of the road I'm not sure what this is called, but I can only imagine that they would sell the same kind of stuff. The old market's on that side. Okay, so I've just confirmed on Google Maps that this is the CM Reap Art Center Night Market. Alright, so I suppose very arty kind of stuff. But thus far I see a lot of t-shirts, clothing, shirts. 
um, I was intrigued by that t-shirts earlier so I might come back for that later or just before I leave Siem Reap in a day or two here's some silk scarves sarong bed cover, table runner hmm. Hello. The old market. Let's see what they have. section over here it seems like uh, fresh produce spicy things as well spice peppers These are just some of the must-do things when we come to Siem Reap. The old market, I think, is a must. And you're going to find many markets, guys, like all over the place. Pop-up markets. But I think this one is an institution. Right, let's go to the other side. This place that I'm at right now, Sochita Restaurant, comes highly recommended. And it obviously has Cambodian food. So let me just check the menu. So apparently the beef flock lak is a um, is one of the national dishes. Oh, but there's so many beautiful things out there. There's so many delicious things out here. Oh, fried noodle with seafood. Mm, that's the beef flock lak, and it's four dollar twenty five cents. Wow, it's not bad. And of course I took water away as well. I just guys I'm just taking in such a lot of water while I'm here, but you know you're, you're sweating it all away anyway. So that's it guys, I'll let you know. I'm gonna kill this. Mm. Oh wow. It's not spicy. It's in hot, but it's got some spice in there. It's, uh, that's really good. Loving it. Things are lighting up, as you can see. But the real action starts tonight. I reckon probably after eight only. We'll start seeing real action. The moment's all quiet. People are just settling down from the day. But this evening the party starts. And remember, it's Friday. So I could just imagine how wild it's going to get. It's the very famous pub street in Siem Reap. Guys, it's going to get wild here, I can promise you that. I believe that you can get some good beers at these bars. And it's, it's much cheap. Well, it's, it's a bit more expensive than you would at any of the other areas in Siem Reap. But it's not as expensive as you would imagine. Well, obviously they catering for the tourist. So everything is uh, inflated, it's a bit more expensive but from what I've heard and I'm looking at the menus and some of the prices and it doesn't seem that bad at all. So if you find your way, if you find yourself in Siem Reap, be sure to visit this street, this is the one.
jamming, they're having their beers and their supper. It's just a vibe out here, man. Guys, if you're in CM Reef, this is where you gotta be. Wow! 